I'm starting out with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance for an eyeshadow primer, and then I'm going in with Julep Beauty Eyeshadow Stick in color Stone Matte, and I'm slowly applying this all over my lid, and then slowly making my way upwards, I'm bringing it up above the crease. I'm probably bringing it about the thickness of the eyeshadow stick above the crease as like a reference. And then I'm kind of making a small V-shape in the outer corner. We're going to blend this out so it doesn't have to be perfect. So here I'm just kind of making a little point in the outer corner following the upward slope of my lower lash line and then curving it in the same angle of my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with the Morphe V206 brush. And we're going to blend out the edges. I'm using little sweeping motions on the top edge, kind of flicking it upwards as well. We're using this as a base, so I want the edge to be diffused outwards and it gives the eyeshadow something to stick to. So I'm slowly blending this upwards. I'm being sure not to bring it up too high. We want a little bit of space between your brow and the color. So I'm starting on the inner corner and just slowly making my way to the outer corner, but I want to be sure to maintain that V shape in the outer corner. So here you can see I'm kind of turning my brush and sweeping it upwards at the same angle of my lower lash line and then connecting it with my crease shade here. I'm also going back in on my lower lash line with that eyeshadow pencil again about halfway and then blending it out with my brush. Next, with the same brush, I'm dipping into the color Satin from the Morphe Matte Essentials 18 CT palette, and I'm packing that onto the lid, as you can see here, and then I'm slowly blending it upwards. I'm dipping into more eyeshadow as I go, but I kind of want this to be darker on the lid and then diffused as you move upwards. So the cream eyeshadow is kind of like a transition shade in a way, so I'm packing on a little bit more color and then slowly blending it upwards. Just make sure you focus on blending and I'm bringing it onto the lower lash line as well and then I'm going to focus on blending out the edges of everything to have a soft seamless blend like so using little circular motions and side to side motions on the edges once you have a concentration of the color all over the lid. The same brush I'm going to clean that off and apply the color organza in the inner corner and kind of blend it into the gray shade as well as the lower lash line just kind of sweeping it inwards and then softly buffing out the edges so there's no harsh lines. Next with this flat shader brush I found it at Hobby Lobby in the paint department it's by the brand Masters Touch and the number on it is 1000. I'm applying the color leather from that same Morphe palette to my upper lash line. I'm making it thicker on the outer corner and thinner towards the inner corner using the end of the brush to keep the line thin. I'm using little soft swiping and stamping motions. Once I have a concentration of the color on my lash line, I'm going to slowly start buffing the upper edge of the shadow to diffuse it a little bit and blend it out. As you can see, it's thicker right here. And then I'm going to slowly start blending it upwards with what's left on the brush, like so, and then bringing it towards the middle here and using little circular motions on that outer corner. Just kind of making sure everything is nice and soft and smoky. Applying a little bit to the lower lash line, about one third of the way inwards, like so. Next, I'm going in with this ColourPop brush in the style E28, and I'm applying that in a C shape in the outer corner. I'm placing it in the crease, and then using little blending motions on the edges. I'm bringing this about one third of the way in, just concentrating the color, just kind of making a C shape in the outer corner, but also following the upward slope of my lower lash line, kind of making a V shape on the outer edge of this. Just using little circular motions to blend it into that gray shade, just following the contour of my eye. Then I'm going to grab the V206 brush again from Morphe and blend out the edges to get rid of any harsh lines. Next with the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner, I'm drawing an inner corner wing following the contours of my eye. I'm curling my lashes. And then I'm applying waterproof mascara. I found that this holds a curl better on my eyes. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara in the waterproof version. Applying it to my upper and lower lashes. And that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the look. Be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell to be notified of the next time I post. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.